I, this is your boy King David, and you have seen me record the trumpet parts. I played one at a time. That's one. That's two. And that's three. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag those into our multi-track. Alright, so we're going to use that one. I like that one since we get to choose the ones we like. So we're going to copy it to new. I think I clipped a little bit of it, so I'm going to go back and get a bit better take of it. You can stretch out your wave so that you can see it more clearly. Also get an accurate cut on it. Copy to new. And then take off the dead area here. All right. Let's right click insert into multi-track. Okay. So we've got one voice in the multi-track. Let's get voice number two. So we'll go back to our original wave. Make it smaller so we can find all the parts. And this is part number two. Okay. So part number two, let's go ahead and copy that to new. Shave off all the extra space we don't need. Insert into the multi-track. Just repeat that process until you get all your parts into the multi-track. Right? So you're kind of getting the hang of it. Alright, so I've got my live trumpets stacked on top of each other. Alright. No. And you can play it over and over again until you're satisfied with the way things sound. thing about live instruments, you know, it's not like using MIDI instruments. You have to, it has to be perfect. You don't have a way to make it perfect, you know, with the machine. So you have to play it until you feel that it's perfect. All right, so now we're back in our multi-track. What I'm going to do is pull up the multi-track and show you all the parts together. So now you see you have all the parts here. Um, and I can play them all together and it should sound like a, a trumpet line. Cool. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll group these together. Mix them down. Bounce to a stereo mix down. Click on my mix down and this is my final track. Alright, cool. Now, take off some of this uh, that sound at the end. I'm going to mute that. Make it quiet. Alright. Cool. I like that chord at the end. What I'm going to do is put a reverb on it. Okay. Delay effects, reverb. I'm going to audition it. I like it. I'm going to keep it. All right. Let me play back the whole line. Cool. I'm going to save this as, uh, I'm going to save it in my music, by the way, under uh, trumpet stab, trumpet stab. You know, I could name it anything I want to, but I'm going to name it that. And then I'm going to close out my uh, Adobe Audition and pull up Fruity Loops. Because we're going to actually find out how do you put this into Fruity Loops, okay? So let's go ahead and get everything set up so that we can hear it. Okay, now I'm going to pull up my track. Okay, I can play it once. <laughs> Okay, everything's playing right, so I'm going to go ahead and look for that uh, trumpet stab. It's going to be in my music, as I said, so I clicked on my music. Go down to my T's, because everything's in alphabetical order, QRST. Trumpet stab should be somewhere around here. Let me refresh it, see if it comes up. There it is. Now that's a live instrument. That's me playing three parts on the trumpet. Pull it into Fruity Loops. I'm going to normalize it. I'm going to give it its own effect channel. So I'm going to send it through effects. Uh, my next open effects is going to be effects 20. So I'll do that. And over here you can see where it's coming through. I'll even name it Trumpet. Alright. So that's, that's all in order. Now all I got to do is play my trumpet part from my keyboard controller. 
obviously I have like an echo on that so I'm going to take that echo off and how I'm going to do that is by sliding down to a different track I'm going to take that trumpet name off there that I put on there and go to 21 and rename that trumpet there should be no echo now now all I got to do is start my track and I'm going to pull it over here so you can see so on my track and I'm going to select um, an open pattern pattern 11 and I'm going to play that along with the track if the timing is off I'll fix it alright you ready so I'll go one two Okay, so I've added my parts in there. Now let me play it. Now, if I want to, I could I could give it some more volume if I wanted it. If I thought it wasn't loud enough, I can um, put an EQ on the trumpet. I can put effects on it to make it even bigger. There's so much I can do from here. But now I got my live instruments into uh, Fruity Loops environment. It's a great day in the neighborhood. It's your boy King David, BeatClass.com. Check us out if you want the hottest tutorials on how to make tracks radio ready, make them uh, ready for music uh, played in your car in the club or on the radio. It's your boy, One Love.